Okay, so the mouthpiece is something I like to do. You don't have to do this mouthpiece. I prefer doing it just for a little bit of reassurance and safety. Uh, we're going to be making a, a mouthpiece that will help prevent the darts going back in just in case you, you know, forget and you inhale. What it'll do is, and this will only work if you're using cones, by the way, you know, uh, darts with cones on the end. If you're using, you know, uh, fur or some kind of fluffy material or just anything that jams in the back, it's not going to help you. Dart's still going to go. Now this is for, you know, like cold steel darts or a lot of commercial darts or if you make your own darts with cones. What we're going to do is you want to take the top part here and I'm going with my PVC cutters and I'm cutting off about an eighth of an inch. So here we go, just an eighth of an inch. Now what you want to do you want to take your knife and we're going to be doing something similar to what we did on the bottom here. So what we're going to be doing is just a little bit less of a funnel. Where the bottom one went all the way to the edge, this one's going about halfway to the edge. So the way this mouthpiece is going to work is that when you load your dart, you actually have to push your dart down through this ring and down onto this platform where it will rest. As you can see. As you can see there's now there's like a little lip inside. What that's going to do is that when you've got it in there and you try to inhale, the dart will get stuck against this ring and it won't go in. Now it's not 100% foolproof, but it's just there as an extra bit of security. So now what I'm going to do is line this up and actually glue this piece back onto here. And you want to make it as even as possible. You want to put it on the way you cut it off. So I'm going to do that and then we're going to put the handle section on. Okay, so you can see there's that little lip in there. And it's kind of hard to see the joint because I went and put more hot melt glue. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our handle section here, heating it up just like we did this middle handle, and sliding it over the top. Now the reason why I'm using glue for this is just because you're going to be holding this all the time. You're going to be putting downward pressure on it. And so it'll just help hold this all together better. And that will also help hold this lip on a little more securely. So I'm going to heat this up, press this on, and I'll show you what that looks like. Here's the handle. So the handle's all finished. What I did was I went ahead and actually ground this off and rounded it. You can see it's kind of rounded. That will help you get a tighter seal because we're not building up a large mouthpiece on this. So this lets you build a, a better seal here. And what I've done is gone ahead and cut that same little bevel on the edge here. That way when you're loading a dart into this, it'll be a lot more simple. And here it is. So it's all finished. So now you've got a, a nice walking stick. You, know, uh, you could finish this up now, but right now this is ready. You could use it as is. And more importantly, it's ready to shoot. So there it is. And I'm just going to shoot it for you guys real quick. And then uh, I'll show you guys how to finish it up later. Okay, so now I'm going to shoot this for you. So here's our walking stick.
to use this as a blowgun, you see that little, uh, I guess that groove we made? What you do is you take your dart, and this is a simple dart, uh, duct tape cone, just a nail. I like using these. Uh, they're quick to make and, you know, they're good enough for fairly short range. They're a little on the heavy side. What you do is you take this, push it in, and you'll see that it actually sets right inside there. And what that's for is that when you go, you try to inhale, that will actually hold the dart back. And then when you want to fire, you just aim, and you want to make a seal against this with your lips, and then just give a sharp uh, puff of air. There we go. So, I'm going to shoot that target for you guys for a little bit. So as you can see, not too bad, but I've still got to practice a lot more. But here it is. Thanks for watching, and next time we'll finish this up. And uh, if you guys want, I'll show you guys how to make some simple darts too. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. So there you go. Thanks for watching.